your lane, sis. <clears throat> okay. My nose always wants to run. That's the great. You're just like every other man just trying to get in my shirt. <gasps> the audacity. This is a brand new white shirt and my lip gloss got onto my hair, which then proceeded to get onto my shirt earlier, right where my nipple is. That's very rude. So I don't have a bloody nipple in case if you notice this, it is freaking lip gloss. This is why I don't gloss. Exactly what. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have something that I'm ashamed of. Ashamed? I'm ashamed of it. We have a makeup haul, and I'm not gonna say the price out loud because uh, it um, frosts my cookies to realize that I did this in about two weeks' time. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go through these goodies here, and. Yeah, I'm just gonna tell you what I bought. Might swatch it. You never know, shit could get crazy. I haven't done a, <laughs> are we from Brooklyn? I haven't done a makeup haul probably in years, so I'm pretty excited for this. And I'm so excited because this box has been sitting on my floor for about four weeks. Four weeks. I haven't been able to open any of this because I was like, no, I want this to be professional. I want it to look good. I want everything to still be in the packaging. <laughs> Didn't open any of it. I didn't use any of it and now I finally get to fucking use this stuff so I'm so excited all right well, let's do it all right so like I said I'm just gonna go ahead and grab stuff might not even look I'm just gonna see what we pull out you know just gonna reach and whatever I grab we're gonna talk about first thing oh these are from Batty B so I was sent these lashes I have a couple other pairs in there these are the Batty B lashes this is in the name Sugar Baby. Yes! All the names of these eyelashes, I did like at least peek at that. They're so funny. I love it. So these are what it looks like. These are what it looks like. You dumb bitch. This is what they look like. They're nice and wispy and fluttery and I really like lashes that start really short at the front like where the beginning of your eye is and then get really wispy and longer at the end. So I'm really excited to use all of these lashes from them. They're just gorgeous. Can we look at that? I love the freaking packaging too. Like look at how it's like, what's the word for it? Ah, we're so stupid today. It's fine. Next thing. <gasps> picked a good one. This is the KKW and Mario collaboration, Kim Kardashian's lip gloss, and it's in the shade Juicy. I haven't even peeked at this. Like you can tell this hasn't even been open, guys. Do you know how hard that was to get a Kim Kardashian lip gloss and not fucking open it? And in true Mia fashion. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. Ooh, I like the bottle. What I actually have on my lips right now, because just in case if you guys are gonna ask, it was the Fenty Beauty in Fenty Glow. It was the Gloss Bomb in Fenty Glow. So that's what's on my lips at the moment. I have um, Posy K under it and then just put the gloss on top of it. But I like the bottle. I like that it's like, what do they call that? I can't, I just, I'm, I'm having a day. I don't know what's happening. But yeah, so that's what it looks like open it I'm so excited oh my god look I, it has never been opened because look at like how clean it is Ooh, I like that sound does it not have a smell oh I see what they did and that's actually nice so that's what it looks like and then when you put it in it scrapes off all like the excess gloss that would get on the actual wand it scrapes that all off so that it's always gonna stay clean listen to that oh Wait. Oh, yes. Let's see what it looks like. It's almost clear, but then it's like peachy. So it'll be really pretty on top of a nude lip stain or lip stain. Not peeking, not peeking. Everything I'm feeling feels familiar though, so I kind of want to go different here. Okay, what's this? 
Oh, so this is the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream, and this is in the shade Deep. I have used this before. If you've watched my videos since like the beginning of time, you will see that I have used this since the beginning of time, probably since I started my channel, which, well, how old was I, 22 or 23? I'm 28 now, so however many years that is, because I don't feel like counting. It's the only BB cream that I have used this far that doesn't make me oily. I don't know what it is, but every BB cream just looks like I put oil, like straight oil on my face and I can't stand it. This one actually looks like it's like a little bit of like a, it's like a tinted like moisturizer a little bit. It's very thin and it's very light feeling on the skin, which I like that as well. So like I said, this is the shit and deep. Okay, where is a knife when you need it? Come on. I know I don't have these claws for no reason. That worked. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys what it looks like on the skin. I've never used the shade deep, but I figured if I'm going to use it right now since it's summer and since I have a little bit of color, Hallelujah. Let's just test, shall we? So it comes out white, but then once you rub it in, it starts blending in with your skin. So you can see it's starting to, you can see it's a little darker than my hand is. Magic, y'all, look at that. And then when it dries, it has a really nice finish. So it's almost like a little bit of a highlighted thing going on there, but it feels really smooth and it blurs out um, your pores as well as any little like breakouts or anything like that. And as you can see, it just looks really natural. Yep, that looks really good. I did good on the shade match. There's only like three shades, so. Oh, we have another pair of lashes, the Batty Bees. This is in, oh, this is in the name Batty. I wish I could really show you, but the packaging. Oh, there we go, look how pretty that is. Look at my hand now from the BB cream. Uh, hashtag YouTuber, right? This is what they look like. They're a bit, let me compare them to the last ones. So this is the Sugar Baby Lashes compared to the Batty Lashes. So, Batty is more like going out, clubbing, like really dramatic, smoky eye, or even just, you know, neutral eyeshadow, and then you pop these on. Yes. Look at that. I'm so excited to try these. What do we have next here? Oh, this is the same BB cream. This one is just in the shade medium for when I start to lose my tan. I just wanted to make sure that I have this. I like BB creams for if I'm just running errands, if I'm just doing like a light lunch or even like a dinner and I just don't feel like doing the whole thing here. This is really great just to slap on real fast. And yeah, it's the same as the other one. So I don't really have much else to say about that because I already did. Oh, forgot I'm not supposed to pick. Why do I keep doing that? What's this? What is this? Oh, wait. So they sent me I think I ordered, I don't remember what it was by Maybelline. It's in there somewhere, but they sent like a little sample. I know you guys are waiting for that. They sent like a little sample liquid liner. It's the Maybelline Master Precise All Day. Never used it before. Let's see how precise you are. Let's try to write my name. <gasps> yes, with the thin tip. I love me a thin tip. Hashtag. Not really. I think I think we're gonna rock with this. I still use the Maybelline stiletto. Um, literally, it's been out since I was 16, 17, 18. Still in the market, still like my holy grail that I use today. So don't at me, bro. It's pretty pigmented. It's very black, so that's good. Let's try to let's give it like yield test. Okay, and it's not moving, so there we go. Another pair of Batty B lashes, if you haven't noticed. Um, I think all the lashes that I have for this haul are just Batty B lashes. Oh, this one came off. How dare you? It's in the, must be because it's in the name extra. Quit acting extra in there. Show you these compared to the baddies, just so that you guys are understanding the difference in each of them. So on the top are Batty bottom is extra. 
So they look similar. Um, extras just fuller. It still has that wispiness, but it has a lot more volume and it's a lot more fuller. More fuller. <sighs> I cannot. Oh, got something different here. Okay. Yes. So this is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. And it is in the shade Rose Gold. Damn it. I had a little accident the other, well, it was the other week. Where I was drunk playing with a knife and uh, cut my hand, sliced it open really good. So that's why I have no knife right now because even though I'm sober, still don't want to play with it. Don't ever use your teeth. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. I saw um, Karen use this in one of her videos and I was just like, holy crap, like I need, like it was just, Oh, let's watch it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Do you see this? <gasps> Blinded by the light. For real though? For a drugstore highlighter? Girl, you have to be shitting me. And the texture, it's so silky and smooth. Oh my God. Honey. Honey. I can't. I have to dig right in and play. Oh! Slap me and call me Judith. Oh, what's this? Is it another pair of lashes? It is. <laughs> These are in the name Saucy. Okay. And they look like this. So these are kind of like your standard lashes, I would say. Like they remind me of the Ardell's. They're a lot longer than the Ardell's, but they're just kind of like standard, like your everyday lashes. Okay, so extra is on top and saucy is on the bottom. So you can see they're a little bit dramatic, but not as dramatic as these ones are. So these are more for like everyday wear. If you wanted to, you could get away with it. Do what you want to do. Oh, I saw two things. Which one do I want to pick first? We'll go with this one. Okay, so I'm really excited about this. Thank God I get to open it now. This is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Sunstalker Instant Warmth Bronzer. I've never used her bronzers before, so I'm super excited to try it. Get out. Get out. Come into welcome home. Where'd that even? Oh, okay. <gasps> Look at out the beauty. Oh my God. Like, this is what makes me happy in life. Look guys, it's me. <laughs> oh. oh. You're killing me here. So this is what it looks like. Oh my God. Okay, wait, let me pull that so I don't blind you. Take this off. Oh my gosh. Yas. I'm like, I hate this lighting. Yes, look at that. Okay. Doesn't really have any smell. Let's swatch it. What's it look like? Can you see it? It's hand. We'll start. Should we start swatching on the wrist, 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 wrist? Oh my God, yes. So I like my bronzers to be, um, more on the orangey tone rather than cool toned. I know cool tone will create like more of a realistic look to the contour, but I like the warmth that the like orangey toned bronzers gives. And this is so silky. The pigment is crazy. Just picking up a little bit like, can you just, can you, can you? Because I can't. So someone needs to can for me. All right, let's do it again. Kind of peaked. <gasps> so excited about this one too. So I don't think I own any Ole Henriksen products. Nothing against it. I just never had bought any of it. And then I saw Karen once again use this and I was like, mm, I cannot. So this is the Banana Bright Face Primer. It said it instantly illuminates, hydrates, and improves foundation wear all day with vitamin C. Just because I do 
like to be matte in the summer. Like when I go out, I like to have like a matte foundation. I use matte primers, but I'm noticing that my skin is starting to look a little bit dry underneath my foundation and it comes through a little bit. So I'm really excited to give this a try and her skin looks beautiful all the time. So that's why, that's why I bought it. Okay, if I could get it open. This reminds me of, do you guys watch Landon? I think his last name's Romanos or Romanos on um, Instagram. I fucking love him. Like I die every time I watch his videos. Like I literally am deceased. But he has one where he's like, I'm not even gonna do it because my video will get flagged because I know a lot of you are haters out there, but he was doing like a hand motion. And he was like, I got my Ole Hamrick in. That's what this reminds me of. Baby. Look, I'm doing my face mask, Ole Hendrickson. Let's give it a little try here. It said you can wear it alone under makeup or dabbed on top of makeup as a highlight. Hmm. Shall we give it a go? Why not? Oh, and it has a, wow. You know, these places are getting savvy. Oh, so yeah, it's definitely yellow. Oh. Has an interesting smell to it. it. Smells a little citrusy. I think I put a little too much to put on top of my makeup right now, but oh, it is like illuminating. Let's like, oh, bitch. Did you just notice that? Watch. No way. Can you imagine going out and someone's like, oh, what highlight do you have on? It's like, it's my primer. I dabbed it on top of my face before I left. No, I'm not crazy. It's Ole Henriksen. So excited to use this underneath my foundation though because I can feel like it's definitely hydrating and it still has like um, I always use my benefit professional as you guys already know but it still has that like um, uh, like almost velvety texture to where you can tell that it is gonna still like blur out pores and fine lines and things like that so this is a win-win for me oh <laughs> yes there is not one thing in here that I'm mad about yet. I don't know if there will be, but sometimes I get stuff and I'm like, mm, it's not what I thought I was getting. This looks like it's pretty similar to my sore that I used, so we can compare and contrast if you'd like. This is MAC Sore. Well, as you can see, MAC Sore is going to be a little pink, a little more on the magenta side, but okay. So that's what that looks like. That's what Focus. It looks it's coming off like red on camera for whatever reason, like a brick red. But that's what I lined my lips with today, just to give you an idea. And then this is in the name Foolish, because I've been foolish since December of last year. Um, my life choices and choices in men have been foolish. Uh, my financial choices have been foolish. My makeup, lip liner name, you guessed it, Foolish. Let's wash it, shall we? Oh, you know what? This is actually more on the pinky side. But oh my God, it's like the same color though. Mia, you did such a good job just online, girl. I'm so proud of you. So it's definitely more on the, I don't wanna say orange, but it's like a lot more on the pinker side. It does, it's like an orangey pinky side. If that makes any sense to anybody but me. It glides on like butter, no issue. Morph, Morphe. <laughs> Lip liner and foolish, like you girl. Oh, lashes again. Oh, perfect. This one's called Insta Ho. Y'all, y'all making jokes over there? Cause y'all saw my my Instagram. It's been getting a little funky and freaky. You know what? That's that's something that I need to address. Listen, I keep my personal life and my private life actually private. Okay, you don't know me, you know my Instagram, and you cannot judge a person by their Instagram. Some people you can, but you really cannot. In all reality, sometimes you just can't. So if I wanna post a thong picture, thong bikini picture, are you gonna judge me and call me a hoe? Probably, but does that mean I am one? Probably, but I mean, just kidding. Not, oh, back on my dry spell, guys. There's so much we could chit chat about. It's great, it's been, it's been great. Um, it's been about, 
two weeks, I think. And uh, yeah, girls hurting for a sport. Also, like I feel like guys judge. I feel like a guy will judge you based off of how you are or how you act when you're single. And it's like, bro, do you want me to judge you on how you are when you're single? I didn't think so. People are 100% different when they're in a relationship. Sometimes, I guess, than when they are when they're single. I'm one of those people. Don't at me. All right, now that the rant is over, these are the lashes in Instaho. Oh, these are my favorite so far, I think, because they're really full. And I think these ones are gonna be a good comparison with the Saucy. Let me see. So Saucy is on top, Instaho is on the bottom. So Instaho is almost like a fuller Saucy. Never thought I would have said that in my life, but here we are. What are we doing? I think it's. Okay, I was like, I think it's lashes again. <laughs> this is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Foundation. So I can't remember who I saw that was wearing this, but it looked really beautiful on the skin and I was like, I want to try it. So I bought a couple of shades. Um, I'm actually just gonna peek in the box and grab the rest of the shades because why would I not just go over that? All at once. These are the three that I got. Um, I got them in the shade Y363 y345 and y365 so i guess i'll swatch them for you guys favorite part this is what it looks like this one looks like it's gonna be a little too light i don't know maybe not can't always judge the foundation through the tube or the bottle or whatever but it just says that it wait it's like in a different language no 24 hour wear <laughs> instrumental test on 20 subjects 24 hour wear what are you doing for 24 hours that you're making me to be on, girl? Mm -hmm. A little shake. Just gonna see the consistency and how it feels. All right, yeah, it is a little light, but whenever I ordered these, I wasn't tanning yet. Eh. So it's thick. It feels thick. So that's what that one looks like. It's definitely a little pill for me right now, but it might oxidize and it might get a little darker as time goes on, so we'll see. But it feels really thick it's full coverage all the way full coverage i like was coloring my finger in it is full coverage girl let's swatch the other shades so that one that i just swatched for you was y365 i don't like that that doesn't have like a name like a golden beige or like something like that um but this one is y363 this one looks pale too uh oh mia you might have done a bad job at this one. Let's see. So I'm going to get out of here. Yeah, this one I think is a little... Oh yeah, that's definitely not for me. Shit. It will be when I become pale again. So that's what that one looks like. That one is definitely a lot lighter and lets me realize that that is actually dark and might actually match. So we'll have to try one day. But yeah, this one is definitely light and it's kind of on the yellowy side this one is y345 it says it's velvety but i don't feel any of the like velvet which is good because i don't like that which is not surprise i ordered these right but okay and then this one this is the y345 this one looks like it might be a little darker no i don't know i don't think so oh no no this one's definitely more yellowy and more paler than the other one so this one is not even that bad, honestly. I think, come on and focus. Quit playing games with my heart. So yeah, the first one is definitely going to be the one that matches me the most right now. I will save these. Obviously, I'm not gonna pitch them, but I will save it. And in like the winter or when it starts to get like September-ish, even though I do self-tan though, sometimes I just get pale and don't feel like self-tanning. I think these would work for me then, but they are super freaking yellow. So I don't know about that. Can't be a win-win all the way around, okay? Next on the menu. Oh, I think, yes it is. It's another Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. And this is in the shade Molten Gold. Dude, 
these feel and look so much nicer than some of my like higher end highlights. I come through with bitch. Oh my god. These are amazing. Oh yes. Got myself a mascara. So this is the Too Faced Damn Girl 24 Hour Mascara. It says 97% say that they saw full on volume, 100% said they saw intense black lashes, 99% said they saw long wearing results, and 95% say they saw a long lasting curl. So I am so excited for this. What does it say? Oh, it has an infinity brush. Oh, it opens like that. But look how cute the packaging is though before I go ahead and break everything and destroy everything. Yes! This is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, this is fierce. I don't even want to open it. Like I should be like, I should have it on display somewhere. Okay, let's look at it and try it. You ready? I'm scared. Oh, it does have like the infinity brush. And that's a lot of product on there. So my lashes are gonna be looking nice. I have a good feeling about this. Oh, I think I know this is. Yep, okay, so I am trying, I bought a tinted moisturizer. I bought a couple of them actually. And it came with, let's see. <laughs> So this is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Tinted Moisturizer. It has a SPF of 30. It says natural luminous finish, safe for sensitive skin. And it also comes with facial radiance pads. Helps exfoliate, tone, and brighten. Oh, white pad across face, neck, and decollete once or twice a day after cleansing. Nice, okay. So it comes with that, at least right now. These never used to because I had it before. I did have one of these before, I think like last year, but I threw it away on accident, I think. <laughs> and it didn't come with all of this. Um, so this is like a deal right now. And then it comes with the Coconut Skin Smooth Priming Moisturizer. Priming moisturizers, okay. So it's a primer and a moisturizer. And it just looks like that. This is in the shade tan, like I said. I'm just gonna swatch it. So yeah, I wanted a tinted moisturizer because just like my BB cream, I wanna be able to just like put something on real fast and be able to leave and like not have to dab on foundation and all that. So this is what I went for. Hopefully it doesn't get like oily or anything like that. And it's nice that it has like a higher SPF. So let's see what the shade looks like. Never use your teeth. <laughs> Such a classy broad. Let's just test this here. Oh, it looks orange. Oh, 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 honey. Yeah, that's definitely orange. Looks like a skin mark. <laughs> I don't know though, because if I get tanner, it might actually blend. Mm, I don't know. I know a lot of you are probably like, why don't you just go to the fucking store and swatch these and then buy them? Because I don't like to do things the smart way. Same thing comes with the primer and the face pads. Swatch him. I don't know, they're orangey. <gasps> oh, that one's even worse. When I get tan, I don't think I, with that, I don't know. Now that I'm like looking, I'm like, actually, this looks like the color of my chest. So it might work. It's just on my arms, and it's like the innards of my arm are nice and pale. Looks a little, a little scary. It has a light fragrance. It's like a little bit of like a citrusy scent, I would say. But yeah, so that is that. Oh my God, that is orange. That is orange, orange, aren't you glad? Oh, okay, now this is something that, sorry, not sorry, I already used. Uh, this is the Makeup Forever. This is their new matte velvet skin powder uh, foundation, blurring powder foundation. It's in the shade, mine that I got is in the shade R370. 
So I was super sad because I went on. Can you see anything? Oh, you can see my underwear. <gasps> so I was really sad because I was out of one of my Makeup Forever powders that were packaged like this. And I went on Sephora and they said that they were, like I typed in the powder and like nothing came up. And I was like, excuse. So then I realized they were done. And I'm like, you discontinued my favorite face powder. You know, it was like one of those times that you think that you're like gonna have a heart attack. And then I found that they redid them and it comes in a little thing like this. It looks like this. And it comes with a little, oh, blinding you. It comes with a little sponge that really does like blur the crap out of your face when you apply the product with it. It's, I don't know the science behind it, but I used, um, I think you can use both sides, but I used the white side first. I haven't used the black side yet. I'm not racist, don't even go there. So far, so good. It goes on the skin so beautifully. Like, I don't even know what to compare it to. So I love the Kat Von D Locket Powder Foundation, but this steals my heart. Sorry, sorry. When I had it on, I went out and it also kept me matte all night, everything like that. Um, I don't know why these companies keep saying velvet because I don't feel the whole like velvet thing. Um, it's just more of a matte feeling, so loving that. So that's what that is. Finally, it's the So the Huda Beauty Pressed Pigment Palette, the Neon Palette, Neon Orange Obsessions Palette. Oh my God, this is gonna be fun. All right, if I could ever open it. Why are these companies like, stop this. All right, look at that pack. Can we just, hold on. Like, what? So this is, are you ready? Look, a lot of colors that I will never use, but I needed it in my life, I needed it. So the neon colors are so in right now on the inner tear duct that I was like, I was looking at my makeup, uh, my makeup palettes. I'm like, I have no neon colors just for like anything. Neon is so in right now too. I was like, I have no neon colors. And then I saw these, Karen, once again, had this, um, she had a tutorial, which inspired me. I think I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna try to do the same look, but um, she had one where she had like a little bit of the neon green inside. And I was like, I needed these palettes. So that's what it looks like. Oh my God, can you just, let's swatch one of them. <laughs> let's do this orange corally one. Oh, they're nice and pigmented. Oh. Yes! Oh my god, I love this color, but when would I ever wear it? This is like a pure magenta hot pink color. Oh my god, it is the beauteous. Can you just, because I cannot. I keep saying I cannot. Next, I'm going to try to cheat. So I got myself another one, you guessed right. This is the Neon Green Obsession palette by Huda Beauty. And this is the one that I'm the most excited for because this is the one with the neon green in it and I really wanna try that on my inner tear duct. Like, I'm about to cry, y'all. Can, can you just, can, come on, come on focus, please. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so I just can't. I was trying to get my sleeve down. I wasn't doing a dance, don't worry. Let's watch the lime green, guys. Oh, I just came. Let's also swatch one of these sparkly ones. Oh my God, that was so pretty on top of that. So I did like, I picked it up on top of the magenta and like, look how pretty. It's almost like a chrome. So I thought it was gonna be more of like a chunky glitter, but it's not, and it comes out like so easily. And look, look at my arm. Look at how pigmented and like vibrant and bright these colors are. I can't. Oh, I forgot about these. So these are the little Milani blushes. I've never used Milani blushes before, but I saw Karen once again use it, so I have to get it. Uh, this is in the shade Luminoso. 
do I have to crack a code again here? What's, what's going on? Oh, yes. So this is like a corally color, which I have no corally blushes, so I needed it. Oh my gosh, they're so pigmented too. Like, I'm so... I don't know. So I'm 28 years old. So if anyone is around my age or older, a little younger, do you remember how crap like drugstore makeup used to be? I, it was it was terrible. It literally was terrible. Like if you would go and buy drugstore makeup, it was awful quality. It was terrible. But like these companies are like crazy now. So oh, that's really pretty. All right. Can you see it? That is gorgeous. So I'm excited to use this because I've only been using one blush for two or three years now and I was like, we need to venture off. It's really silky and smooth too and it has a little bit, it looks like, um, it's probably from my other dippings here, but it looks like a little bit of glitter, but I don't think so. I just think it has like a little bit of like iridescence to it. Oh, perfect. These lashes are in the name focus. <laughs> Fuck boy. This is what they look like. Prettiest fuckboy I've ever seen. Instaho compared to fuckboy. So they're kind of similar where these are fuller and these are more sparse in between. Nice to be reminded of your past when you go to wear lashes. Okay, so we do have another Morphe color. This is a color that I would typically not use. It's brown, so, but just to like define my lips more, I wanted to branch out and try this. So this is in the shade Bite Me, bitch. And it's like a true brown. It's like a it's like a burgundy brown, a poop brown. That's like a perfect way to describe this. It's like a shit brown. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Looks like a skip mark. I, I hope Morphe doesn't come for me for saying that, but it's literally a true poop brown. Beautiful. Oh, I forgot I even got this. So this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Anti- Creasing, light capturing, self setting concealer. Self setting, I don't know about that, sir. Whoa! So I got it in the shade 22. Do you want to see what 22 looks like? It blends in with my shirt. Is this white? <laughs> Mia, how many white claws did you have before you made this purchase? Wow. Oh, you know what? Okay. It's not that bad. It looks completely white in here, but oh, no, it looks the same. <laughs> but I do like a good highlight under the eye, so I'm sure I could work with it. Oh, and it blends out nicely. No, we'll be good. That's very light, but um, I, like you can tell, I'm nice and white under here. This is gonna be perfect. Self-setting though. I'm like testing it, touching it. Oh, it is. You know what, instead of this man turned into a powder in two seconds. Literally, I put it on my arm and it's already like dry. So this is a product I feel like you're definitely gonna have to hurry and work with. Um, it says self-setting. I'm still gonna set it with a powder though, but YOLO. What's this? Oh, it's another Morphe lip liner. What shade is it? I thought my nail just came off. I was like, bitch. This is in the shade Bay. Something I don't have. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So that's it compared to the poop color. It's a true, oh, this is reminds me of Max or, or Kylie Jenner's Posey K. Hold up, hold up, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up. Well, almost, I lied. But it looks like when it's on, like the, Sore is coming off almost like a rosy toned, but tell me that this doesn't look like the color on my lips right now. The middle one. That's bae. That is bae. This is second to last thing here. 
This is the lip liner in the shade BFF. Hi, Rachel. So this is a deep, dark, like wine color, which I'm gonna love this for fall. Let me show you guys. That's it right there. That is beautiful. Right, and then I think we have one thing in here. Oh, we have two things. Oh, well, damn it. So I bought another highlighter. This is in the shade Molten Peach. Oh, this one came off nice and easy, go figure. And it looks like this. Like, look at just how it looks. Like, holy shit. Oh my god. <gasps> Can you see it? I hate this camera. There you go. Oh, yes. Look at that, bitch. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we're going to have fun playing with these. I cannot wait. They're so creamy, too. Like, I just want to dig my fingers all in it because I don't want to fuck it up. And then, last but not least, He's not in the packaging because I started to use him. This is the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Crayon in the shade, I think it's brunette. Does it not say it? Well, I'm pretty sure it's in the shade brunette, guys, okay? So these are the brow pencils that I always use. I have not used anything high-end on my eyebrows besides um, eyebrow gel in I think almost a year just because I go through them so much I don't have my eye, my eyebrows microbladed I that's something I don't want to commit to I'm super scared so um, <laughs> this is what it looks like it's super comparable almost if not better than the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow Wiz, in my opinion so it comes with a spoolie on one end so that you can comb through your brows and then on the other end is where the product comes out of um, you don't need a lot of pressure with this it's, it glides on very well. I did lose the cap to one of them though and it's got a little chalky and like I had to kind of like warm it up um, on my hand before I started to put it on. So I don't use um, the dip brow either. I, I'm not like a fan of that. So I'm a pencil and I fill it in with a little bit of eyeshadow and you're good to go. Well, this is depressing. There's nothing in my box summer 19 story of my life anyways thank you that's not how it was supposed to go just want to say thank you guys for joining in today for this summer 2019 makeup haul i think i'm good for the summer maybe even you know a little more um i will list everything in the description box below in order as how i said it in this video just so that if you are interested in any of it I talk ever just so that if you are interested in any of these products you can go ahead and type it in and you'll know which shade it is because just because it's not the shade for me it might work for you and if you want to know I will have it in the description box for you don't forget to leave me some comments I love talking to you guys and also thumbs up subscribe and stay Bella Mwah. bye guys